yo 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 no, it's the first Wednesday here. I said it's our first oh. Wednesday of the year. Keyword R. So R. you need to get your ears fixed now. Right. You need to go get an ear surgery. <laughs> ear you surgery. got your nose job. Now you need to get an ear job. Okay, you might got polyps in your ears. Shut up. Can you man. get polyps in your ears? Because clearly you can get polyps in all types of holes. I don't know. Because I, I, I never heard of the polyps in your nose until you told me. Yeah. And then, you know, I got, keep telling y'all all week I got a colonoscopy in December. Colonoscopy, had, man. Whatever. It's in your butt. And I had zero polyps. Okay, so maybe there's polyps in your ears too. Well, you know, uh, you know, boob job was the number one uh, most popular cosmetic surgery. Now it's liposuction. Mm. Yeah, so that just came out yesterday on CNN. Since I wonder we're talking about. I, I wonder uh, who's getting both. And what I mean by that is, there's a lot of men who want to get their boobs removed, right? Yes. Because men be having man boobs. Yep. And then there's a lot of men who getting liposuction now. So I wonder who's getting, who's getting those. Like, what's the demographics of those uh, surgeries? I'd like to know. Yeah, you know, but. I think with the surgeries, I think is is creating a false sense of everything. Meaning, what do you mean? People don't want to work out anymore. People don't want to eat healthy now. They don't want to do what's right because no matter what, you can pull it out, you can suck it out, you can cut whoa. it out. Whoa, 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 oh whoa, goodness. bro! I ain't even had breakfast yet. Jesus Christ! You know my what I mean. God! Jesus Christ! You're talking about the fat. You I don't know what you're talking you about. Kids are on their way to school. I'm what talk, is you, Jesus? Talking about liposuction. You Whoa. can pull it out. You can suck it out. You can Whoa. cut it out. <laughs> no matter what you Whoa. do. But if you don't change the lifestyle, it's still not healthy. Your, your heart is still have. Your heart is still be working extra. You still have clogged arteries. You'll still uh, have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high cholesterol. What is? Cl- you're right. High cholesterol. cholesterol. Yeah. And the reality of the situation is, uh, you, it it looks better when you actually, you know, change your lifestyle. Do it the right. Like, way. don't just go, you know, get if you're gonna get the surgery, don't just go get the surgery. The ones that end up looking the best are the ones that still work out, eat right, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Because that can't be your routine. No, nah, not at all. You know, when you get out of shape, you just run to a surgeon. Yeah, a lot of people do, it, and they do it numerous times, and they do it numerous times every couple of years. It's. I do. It's not healthy. I do find it interesting that uh, nobody even lies to themselves no more about working out in the new year. No, <laughs> it used to no. be a time where everybody be like, "Oh, I'm gonna get in shape." No, nope. gyms be packed. You know what I mean? People done hung that up, huh? Now, now it's like, you want my doctor's number? My doctor help you out. Now, my doctor, you want to go to Columbia or you want to go to DR or, you know, not, those, not, those kind of calls you getting? No, I, I don't know why you just gonna I be honest, you, but I'm not going. I'm not going to press you anymore. I hate your you. Your body, your choice. Shut up, man. All right. Well, we got front page news next. Uh, the Mega Millions. I'll tell you uh, if you are a winner or if nobody did won. You play? I did play. I played too. How many tickets you bought? <laughs> I bought uh, forty dollars worth. No, nah, I only bought uh, twenty. I bought forty dollars no, worth. Yeah, I bought twenty. I bought ten. Uh, ten quick picks. Yeah, I bought twenty quick picks. But I'm not a winner. Did anyway. anybody win? We'll talk, talk about it when we come back. And today is a very special day. Play my joint. Guess whose birthday it is? Well, that's my joint. It's Mary my J. Blige, be happy. Okay, that is my song. Turn up. Whenever I'm feeling any oh. type of anxiety, whenever I'm feeling depressed in any way, shape, or form, because oh. my therapist tells me anxiety and faith cannot coexist. So whenever that anxiety kicks in, I start telling myself my own hero story, and mm-hmm. I like to tell myself my own hero story uh, by playing this record as well. Well, today is Mary J. Blige's birthday. Come on now. So happy birthday to the Queen, Mary J. Blige. Queen. We're gonna be doing mini Goddess. mixes all morning long. Why? Because why Come not? On now. Why not? That's Mary. J. J. Blige, okay? We should be thankful that we live in a time uh, that Mary J. Blige also lives in as well. That's right. We should we thank God for Mary J. Blige's existence. Drop on the clues bombs for Mary J. Blige. This morning, damn it. That's right. Front page. And if you next. don't know this song verbatim, you don't have a soul. Good morning. Mary J. Blige. Happy, happy birthday, Mary J. Blige, by the way. Mm-hmm. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. All right, there is no winner of the Mega Millions jackpot. So right okay. now it's at one point three five billion dollars. It's the second largest in history. I still like I like that, and the reason I like that is because I didn't win. So being that I didn't win gives you another uh, chance. It gives, it's still hope, right? <laughs> you know. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So the next drawing is this Friday. So by, good luck to anybody out there. By the way, playing the Mega Millions in the Powerball, it it, it it honestly just feels good because the reality of the situation is that's all folks want is a little bit of hope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's all. You, you can sell hope forever. You can't sell dope forever, but you can sell hope forever. But I want to see somebody win. Like, I want to see no, no, somebody no, 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 no. win. I know somebody. 
Well, <laughs> it's okay to be selfish here. Why the hell would we be playing it? I got a, I got a pocket full of Mega Millions right now. Not a pocket full. I actually got one ticket. Look at my ticket right here. Let me see your ticket. I know you got it. It's on. a loser. The mine's in my car. I don't care if it's a loser. You know why I don't care? Right. By the way, this might not be a loser. And that's the other thing. Yeah. Y'all don't check y'all tickets because right. y'all don't hit the jackpot. But, you but I go in there sometime and I get my two dollars, my four dollars. You're right. Because I got a Powerball or two, and man, I'd be happy. I'd be, I'd be grateful for that extra four dollars. You, you know right. what I do with it? I ain't check mine. But I reinvested back <laughs> you into the Mega Millions, millions every single time. Goodness gracious, I gotta check mine. Now, at least 17 people are dead out in California. This is because of massive flooding. They're saying uh, more than 200,000 homes have been affected and more than uh, 200,000 businesses have no power. Now, this is all because of, like I said, the massive flooding and people have been leaving California like crazy. So definitely, if you got family in California, somebody you know, give them a call, check up on them and pray for them continuously. Very sad. Now, Joe Biden... Uh, this is what I'm I'm a little confused. Maybe you could help me out a little bit. Now, the House Oversight Committee is investigating uh, classified documents found at Biden's office. Now, they're saying that Biden's attorneys were cleaning out his office in Washington, D.C. This was the time when Trump was in office, when he had an office, of course, outside of the White House. They found these documents. And when they found these documents, why did they tell anybody they found these classified documents? It was the goddamn Department of Justice. Why wouldn't they tell people? What are you talking about? I would hope my attorneys wouldn't tell nobody. I don't think the Department of Justice is his personal attorney. No, they said his personal attorneys. They made it seem like his personal attorneys found it cleaning out his office. Well, they're doing the right thing. That's what you're supposed to do. What are they supposed to do? Uh, cover, cover for President Biden? Classified documents are... You're not supposed to bring classified documents home if you're a, a, a sitting official. From what I from from what I was told, didn't they just get on Trump's ass about that? They sure did. Now, now we talk about double standards in the media. As soon as I heard that about Joe Biden, uh, President Biden, I said to myself, "Well, what's the difference between Trump having classified documents and Biden having classified documents?" You know, Biden says he doesn't even know what's in them, and then mm -hmm. literally, if you you know go online, you see NBC News, CNN, they already writing think pieces, right, caping for Biden, saying that. You know, there's a, there's a, a a big difference. Wait, I don't understand a big difference. Classified well, documents well, is classified documents. I mean, well, that's what I thought. But the, the, they say the Justice Department prosecutes the mishandling of classified documents when there is an aggravating factor present. And those factors are obstruction of justice, uh, mm -hmm. storage in a way that risks ex risk exposure, willful violation and disloyalty to the United States. So I guess they're saying, you know, Trump checks off tr Trump's boxes, check off all those factors and Biden does it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I I this isn't Charlemagne the God talking. This is just what uh, I'm reading in these reports. That's what they're saying the difference is. Well, Biden spoke about it. When my lawyers were clearing out my office at the University of Pennsylvania, they set up an office for me, secure office in the Capitol. And as soon as they did, they realized there were several classified documents in that box. And they did what they should have done. They immediately called the archives. And I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. And we're cooperating fully with the review, and which I hope will be finished soon. And uh, there will be more detail at that time. All I'm seeing in all these situations is uh, all these folks do the same thing. And depending on what side you're on, you care or you don't care. Mm-hmm. Depending on what side you on, you vilify, you don't vilify. Yeah. That's what I that's what I take from it. Now lastly, uh this might make me turn to Republicans, all right? Now Whoa. Let me tell you. Whoa. Pull it out and suck it out. Yo, shut up. Now the Republican uh House of Representatives will vote on a bill if they can get it passed that will abolish the IRS. That's right. They're trying to pass a bill that will abolish the Internal Revenue Service uh, and that will eliminate the national income tax and replace it with a national con uh, consumption tax. That's not that's not enough. To make me, <laughs> that, that's not enough to make me turn fascist. Nah, like, like, fascist. Like, I'm just like, joking, like, but like, I would definitely support this bill. If Republicans weren't the, the, the party of full of fascists right now, I would want to hear more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, eliminate the national income tax. And what does that mean, though? Uh, then, that don't mean just because they get rid of the IRS, that don't mean that they're not going to put something else in place to take our damn money out. Well, they said consumption tax. So when you uh, consume certain items, whether it's alcohol or, or cigarettes or cannabis or whatever it may be, they'll charge a little higher for that. But they won't be charging anybody's check out there. So if you work wherever you work and they take that uh, 15, 20, 38, 40 percent, that's yeah, all your money. You, you know what's going to happen in that situation. What? You think inflation high now. 
Yeah, yeah. If they ever if they ever got rid of income tax, inflation would be through the roof. But if you think about it, I went to Krispy Kreme the other day. A dozen donuts was twenty three dollars, man. But that's crazy. A dozen. All I and it was all, all I got was six original glaze and six uh with the with the strawberry frosting and the sprinkles for the kids, man. You a fat ass. And it was twenty three dollars. But think about it. They they always say you know they always raise taxes, but then they always send. 3.5 billion to this country or 300 million to this country. Where do they find the money to send to all these other countries? But when it comes to our country, they don't. All right, bro. Mm. It's clearly our tax money. <laughs> yeah, right. That's all right. right. Well, that is your front page news. Get it off your chest. 800 585 1051. If you need to vent, hit us up now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. I understand that. I wouldn't tell nobody either. I'd be super anonymous. Listen, he put that in on that shit. And these men with own was just baby, she was okay? Your, your phone sounds like you need to win the lottery to buy a better one, but I think what you're <laughs> saying is that a bunch of men uh, started hollering at her. Yep. Because she won the lottery? Correct. Okay. Hello, who's this? Hello. Hey, who's this? Why are you yelling, bro? Yeah. Stop what's up? What's, Yo, what's stop hold screaming. Up, hold up. I'm, I'm, stop I'm out here screaming. driving this truck this morning. But why are you screaming? Bro, I'm trying, I'm trying to get off. I'm kind of mad this morning. Because oh, you didn't win the Mega Millions. Now I'm, and I got to drive this truck, but we need to get this off. They got Cowboys. If we don't win this week, we need to get rid of the whole team. We don't need to get rid of the Stop whole team. Over. We don't need to get rid of the whole team, but we need to get rid of Mike come McCarthy. Come on, Charlamagne. Come on. Come on, Charlamagne. We, we got to get rid of them. No, we got to get rid of Mike McCarthy. I'm going to tell you something, though, King. Are you ready for this? Come on. We're going to lose the wild card game, bro. I already know that. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? I already know that. Goodness gracious, I'm, I have no I'm, faith I'm, in your I'm, team. We're going to lose the wild card game. Tom Brady is undefeated against the Cowboys. The Cowboys are one in four on grass. Dak Prescott has been playing horribly. I don't know what has happened to our defense. I have no faith in us. If we win, I'll be happy, but I don't have no expectations. I wouldn't bet. I definitely ain't betting. Man. But I just wanted to say one thing. What's this, that? Is, oh, this is OG from the 757. And can I give a shout out to my people? Go ahead, man. I'm gonna shout out to the Southern Hospitality and Food Truck. Okay. We've been down now four years. We went through COVID, and we striving, and we doing good. I right, blow the horn one time, brother. Here we go. I and I'm up in the, uh, New York City. All right, brother. Be safe. All right. Hello, who's this? What's happening? And we just a lot of girl. What's up, brother? Get it off your chest. Uh, I just want to tell for a lot of the Florida, all the people with a small black businesses, we need to go a little harder this year. We need to try to really compete with the big people far as make sure your presentation, make sure everything look good. Make sure you bring the best services to your community. You know, and then also one thing is with the black celebrities, how about we start investing with the um, small communities? You know, not Papa John's and all the other big names, so... Just hope we have a good 2023. Well, listen, you know, uh, Uncle Charlotte back there. Yeah, I'm right here. I agree with you, but you know, there's nothing wrong with investing in Papa John's, especially if Papa John's is in your local community because Papa John's is providing jobs as well, and you got people in your local community who might be franchise owners of those places. That's true, but if you make it two, three, four million, you got an extra five hundred thousand to throw to a little small company, a little, a little. Hundred thousand or whatever, you can help them build themselves up, and they can bring in some people as well. Oh, I agree. I agree with that too. I think. I think it all helps. Yep. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, hit us up now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. We want to hear from you on the Breakfast Club. So if you got something on your mind, let it out. Hello, who's this? Yo, happy New Year, bro. It's Mello. Mello, what's up, Mello? Yo, man, I just want to say Happy New Year. I'm happy for y'all. But MV, man, I want more for you, bro. What you mean? You gotta stop that. You gotta stop that, Charlamagne. Get you with this, bro. You be trying to improve your life, and he be flipping it, and MV, you be having a week, bro. Mellow. Like, he did it with your beard, and now all of a sudden he's doing it with the nose job. You gotta fight back, bro. Mellow, you, this is what you gotta understand, Mellow. What, what, this is what I realized in life. Short individuals are always jealous, especially short individuals that can't grow no hair on top of their head. So that's just who he is. So you just got to let him go. You just got to understand. He's just jealous of me. I am not jealous of Envy. I love Envy. I, I just don't see the problem. Like, he got a nose job. I did not. He clearly he clearly got just from men on his beard. He do clearly not. got the hairline surgery. I and, did not. I, and I want him to tell his secret. So other people might feel like they want to do a little improvement on themselves, too. I ain't got no problem nah. with him treating himself. 
You gotta nah, you gotta he gotta start packing you up, bro. You ball headed with a ball spot. Start fighting. <laughs> first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, Morris Chestnut said that he gets mistaken for me. That's a damn so lie. Both of y'all can kiss That's my a ass. Lie, bro. You look like Morris left nut big fella. <laughs> hey, I look like Morris which as long as Morris and Nut I look like, I'm fine. Ah, mellow goodbye, man. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Yeah, hey, what's going on, Breakfast Club? This is uh, Mr. Dingo, Dingo0935. How y'all doing? Man? What's up, brother? That is a disgusting name. He calls all the time, Mr. Dingo, man. Right, Mr. Dingo. Thank you. Right, come on. Thank you. Good morning, thank you. Dingo. Dingo, Dango. Dingo, get it off your chest, brother. Good morning. What's up, guys? Happy New Year. I'm glad to have y'all back on the show. And, man, I want to actually pick your brain, Charlemagne. I don't know if you heard about what was going on with the Doctor Strange actor. You know, Benedict Cumberbatch, did you heard about the crazy stuff him and his family were up to? No, what happened? Dude, his family is facing legal pressure to pay reparations in connection to their ancestors being linked to the Barbados slave trade. Well, it's on NPR. The LA Times said Benedict Cumberbatch is not facing slavery reparations. Yes, I don't, I don't know what But, there, but there's a bunch of stories that say Benedict Cumberbatch's ancestors got rich from slavery, but he's not facing slavery reparations. Hello, who's this? This is my age Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get it off your chest. Listen, I want to be on the show. I think y'all should have me as y'all knew Angela Yee. Well, we are going to start rotating guest hosts soon. You know what I mean? We just wanted to get acclimated to the studio. Actually, we got a guest host coming yeah, tomorrow. You rotate me. All right. Well, last night was the Golden Globes. Give us some information. Go. The Golden Globes. Nah, you called me. Come on, See, now. You can't do that. Come on now. Come on you know, now. you know what's interesting though. I, I would like to know what would you talk about? Like, what would you want to talk about this morning if you was on the radio? Go. Anything. I I can talk about anything. Anything that's, that's that, common that, right that, now. That's not how this it works. Don't take you that much to... You can't even say that because you just said you could talk about anything. But Envy just asked you about the Golden Globes last night, and you ain't even know nothing. I don't watch the Golden Globes. But that's, 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 but that's anything. Job, that's anything. Last time I checked, that's anything. Oh, anything. Man. You know, SWV. I don't know. You have a good one, Mama. That's, that's fine. You could get you can get a, you can get acquainted with anything fast. I'm a fast learner. If you tell me to watch the Golden Globes, I could watch it, it, it was, five minutes and come up with something. It was last night, though. I understand that, but <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Mama. No, listen. Come, I know you. I know you are. That's why I'm not taking it to heart. But understandably. If that's your job and, you know, that's something that you do, then I'm going to take that seriously. Me as a regular viewer or something, I don't really watch the Golden Globes, you know, but if that were to be my job, that's something that I'll be on ASAP. Baby, you don't have to talk to us like you're in a job interview. You, you, <laughs> this is not a job interview. <laughs> you are not, you know, being interviewed right now for any type of position. You no. don't have to speak to us like that. But I will say this, man. Uh, we are going to start rotating guest holes soon. And the reason that I know it's going to take a long time for us to find uh, somebody else to be in this position yes, is because people think this is easy. I'm not sitting there acting like we're doing rocket science here, but to wake up every day, Monday through Friday, it ain't just getting on this microphone and running your damn mouth. No. Okay? It's just not. And I know it, it seems like that in the world that we live in because everybody got a podcast Correct. and everybody got a YouTube show and everything else. But this morning grind is very, very different. And uh, when it's all said and done, y'all going to really appreciate what we've done over the past 13 years and counting. That's right. And coming up, we got your rumor report. And yes, we'll tell you about the Golden Globes, which was on last night. Of course, it was hosted by comedian Gerard Carmichael. And we'll tell you some of the big winners and all that. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. What's happening? We here. It's Wednesday. Yes. That means I, nothing to y'all, huh? Okay. Nah, it's hump day. That's all, right. all it is. Well, you'd be happy that you were alive. Well, this weekend's a three-day weekend. It's Martin Luther King uh, Day on Monday. Hey, we taking another vacation? We just got back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's we not going to work Monday? No, we ain't got to go work Monday. You sure? Positive. Hey, I'm not mad at that, Banks man. closed. I think schools closed. Everything. I got to do that for the, for the big Martin. Drop on the we cool breath for Martin Luther King. I have a dream that I would not be here on Monday. I think right. I'm going to do a party. I might throw Martin on a party. I have a dream party. Don't do that. Don't be one of them niggas. I'm just that, joking. That's, that's, by the way, I'm trying not to say the N-word no more. <laughs> I, I really am. That is my resolution. But when you say stuff like that, you make me say it. Because I could. you you one of them people that'll be standing next to Martin Luther King Jr. on your fly, on a flyer and have Martin Luther King Jr. holding a bottle of Ducey or something stupid. He'd be pointing. See what I'm saying? See? Don't do that. All I'm right. pointing at your nose, y'all. <laughs> Yo, shut up. Let's get to the rumors. We're talking to uh, Golden Globes. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty uh, patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. You're not about to hear one rumor. All right. Well, the Golden Globes was last night. Did you watch it? 
No, I watched like the last uh, 40 minutes. I forgot it was on. I don't be caring about that kind of stuff. But I, I, when they told me Gerard Carmichael was hosting, I did turn it on. Well, he was hosting last night, and we have a, a snippet of his uh, opening monologue, right? I am your host, Gerard Carmichael. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm black. That's all they got, huh? Is it true that Gerard Carmichael was the first black host of the Golden Globes? That can't be true, right? Mm, I don't know. I that's, don't know either. That's a good question. It, it, in 80 years? I, I have no idea. If so, it's really crazy how much white institutions don't F with others, for real. Nah. <laughs> in 2023, we still talking about him being the first black person to host the Golden Globes? I'm not celebrating that. Well, Eddie Murphy, if it's true. Eddie Murphy picked up a, a, an award last night, and when he spoke, he cracked a little joke on Will Smith. I want to let you know that there is a... A definitive blueprint that you can follow to achieve success, prosperity, longevity, and peace of mind. It's a blueprint, and I followed it my whole career. It's very simple. There's three things you just do. These three things: pay your taxes. True. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. True. True. And keep Will Smith's wife's name. Now, who's that a joke to? Is that a joke towards Will or a joke towards Chris? Or both? It's just a joke. Both. Just, it's just a joke? Both. Yeah, it's just both. Just both. Feels kind of old and dated. I mean, I, I wanted more from Eddie Murphy. You know what I mean? Because what Eddie gave us, I guess, in that, that last 15 seconds is what I needed for the for the whole thing. Because we don't hear from Eddie much. So when not I much. see him on stage in front of a microphone, I want to hear more. Right. By the way, not just from Eddie. By everybody. Because nobody cares about all the people you need to thank. I am so sick of people just getting up there well, he and thanking agent, folks. He thanks his family. He, thank, he thanks his kids. Yeah. He thank God. Do that in an email. <laughs> do that in an email. <laughs> he thank God. You could, I, you could do that on stage. I'm with that. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say do that in an email. No, like, you could do that. You know, but, all right. So some of the winners. Uh, best performance by an actress in a television series went to uh, Quinta Brunson for Abbott Elementary. Man, so so deserving. Drop on the clues, Bronson, for Abbott Elementary. I, I, I told y'all in season one how much I like that show, but season two is even more more phenomenal. Salute to everybody over there. Best television series, Abbott Elementary. It's very deserving. Uh, what else? Uh, best performance by an actress uh, was uh, Zendaya for Euphoria. Come on now. They're getting some things right over there at the Golden Globes, huh? Yep. Uh, best television series drama was House of Dragon, if you're into that. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's uh, that Game of Thrones spin-off? Yeah, Game of Thrones spin-off. I don't watch stuff like that. My best, wife do, though. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role was uh, Tyler James Williams in Abbott Elementary. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Back it up, Tyler. I don't know if you watch Ozark, but uh, Julia Garner won for best performance by an actress in a supporting role. She's pretty mm -hmm. dope. Um, and uh, best actress in a supporting role in any motion picture was Angela Bassett, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Now, I know that was the first. That was the first. She's the first person in a Marvel movie to win a major award. That I know. Yes, let's hear her speech. To my Marvel Disney family, weeping, weeping may come in the evening, but joy comes in the morning. We embarked on this journey together. With love, we mourned, we, we loved, we healed, and we were surrounded each and every day by the light and the spirit of Chadwick Boseman. And we have joy in knowing that, well, with this historic Black Panther series, it is a part of his legacy that he helped to lead us to. We showed, we showed the world what black unity, leadership, and love looks like beyond behind and in front of the camera. And to the Marvel fans, thank you for embracing these characters and showing us so much love. We, we just made history with this nomination and with this award. Now that's an acceptance speech. Drop mm -hmm. on the clues bombs for Angela Bassett. She, she combined it all. Gratitude, mm -hmm. thank yous yes. for the crew and the production mm -hmm. companies and all that. And she told us something. I'm just sick of people getting up there and just thanking folks. That is not entertaining. Thank those people in the email. When you hit that stage, I want to see you give all glory to God. Then give me some type of monologue. Okay, I don't want to hear acceptance thank yous. I want to hear acceptance speeches. All right. Hire some writers to give you some bars when you get up there. Tell me a story. Anything but a bunch of thank yous. And is Angela Bassett going to win the Oscar? Y'all going to finally get it right after y'all snubbed so. her for what's love got to do with it all those years ago? I hope she so. She's going to finally get that Oscar? 
And that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Uh, we'll tell you about some police officers that were smashing each other and it got their job taken. From smashing, them. you mean fornication? Yeah, smashing, fornication. Sex. Sex. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, all right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Your mornings will never be the same. Nissan is continuously evolving and changing the game through electric vehicle engineering and innovation. Because the electricity of their cars not only moves engines, but it also moves the emotions of those who drive them. To learn more about Nissan's electric vehicle lineup, visit NissanUSA.com. Salute to Scissor. I like this album a lot. I listen to it a lot over the holidays. All right. Well, morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne, the guy we are, the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. Now, just a quick reminder, Mega Millions jackpot is $1.35 billion, the second largest in history. No winner claimed Tuesday's prize. Nobody won, so uh, you got a chance to win some more money. So I think the next drawing is Friday, so good luck. Now, how do we feel about buying multiple tickets for the Mega Millions? I, I, I'm the mean? type of person that feels like, you know, if it's your... If, if, if God is going to bless you with that, then you know you don't have to buy a hundred dollars worth of tickets. I spent twenty dollars. I do you know forty. I, mean? I bought I bought uh, ten quick picks. I do forty. You did forty dollars. I do forty super and forty quick pick. Yeah, because I, I feel sorry for the people who go out there and you know spend five hundred dollars on a bunch of Mega Millions tickets. That's a waste of money because all it takes so. is one. And I understand you might think, oh, you know, the more numbers, the more opportunities to win. But if it's going to be yours, it's going to be yours with that one. Mm -hmm. There'll be somebody that go in there and spend a dollar. <laughs> well, you're not a dollar, but two dollars. Two dollars, yeah. And hit it. All right, well, turn music down. This is interesting. This is juicy. What this is got? spicy. Now, out in Tennessee. Pull it out. A small, you stupid man, a small Tennessee police station has been rocked by allegations of wild sexual misconduct after a married female officer, Caucasian, uh, allegedly had steamy romps with six male officers. You know what I hate about this? What? There's a news report. We got the news report? I'm sure they didn't. Damn, no. All right. <laughs> I'm reading it back. All right. So now the officer and her fellow law officers allegedly engaged in wild sex capades that included sending dirty pictures, taking off her top at a girls gone wild hot tub party, and even having oral sex with two officers. Now, uh, get the news report, somebody. She was uh, telling everybody in the uh, barracks and everybody in the police station that one of uh, the gentlemen that she was having sex with was had packing. a big black. She really said that. <laughs> she She's really not said that. Really it's verbatim. Yeah. yeah. She says she had performed a sex act on him while the pair were on the clock. Now, six now of that's them wrong. Six of them uh were fired. Now, uh two of them were, were suspended. Now, the ones that were fired were because they had sex on the clock. That's the problem. The other ones, well, they were suspended, and I don't know why they were suspended. If all of this stuff is happening off the clock, I don't have a problem with any of it. You know what I'm saying? But the stuff that's happening on the clock, that's when it becomes a problem because, you know, you're interfering with your work. Now, this story is wild for a number of reasons. Why? Because she was sleeping with all these black dudes. All right? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, and one, she's a little white girl. Little white girl. And yeah. it's a picture in the NY Times of her eating fried chicken, string beans, and macaroni and cheese. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I just what? found it humorous. Okay. okay. She was getting piped down. All right. She let about, I mean, it was like six cops, right? Yeah, six cops. Like six different cops hit. I'm not mad at her. Her body, her choice. If it wasn't interfering with her work, wasn't causing problems in the workplace, what's the problem other than other than them doing it on the clock? Because there's no power dynamics in this situation. There is no power. No. they all officers. Correct. You know, so it happened off the clock. That's right. If that cop wants to pop, lock it, drop it, who are we to judge? They said her husband was cool with it. It was an open marriage, allegedly, and he was a cuck. What? <laughs> what did he cook at? <laughs> no, what was his favorite they, dish? They call him a, a cuckold. That's like a like a dude that yeah, allows man, his he, wife to yeah. smash and he From watches. From the story I read, read, I didn't see that part. It says, no, it no, says, no, no. He said he saw them kiss and they used the word cuck. Oh yeah, yeah. But he said, oh, you really, you really read this story? Huh? They had really, me at the headline. Right. What was that? Read that. <laughs> you really read this Come story? On, huh? They had me at the headline. The headline was Tennessee cop. Hold on, what did it say? Tennessee cops, including married female officer, fired after repeated wild sex romps. They had me. So let's open up the phone lines. Eight hundred. Oh, no, you got the official news report? Oh, we got the news. I just want to hear the official news report. All right, let's listen. Tonight, five Laverne police officers were fired and three were recently suspended after an investigation found one officer was in intimate relationships with several other officers. According to the human resources director for the city, the mayor got an anonymous tip that a female officer was engaging in sexual relations with at least three other male officers. She also reportedly sent nude photographs and explicit videos to multiple co-workers. The HR director recommended the firings and suspensions and the mayor signed off on that decision. 
Yeah, yeah, your report was better. Yeah. Now, this is when having two men on the show is going to jump the shark. Because, wow. as I said, she was, you know, getting piped down. She let six other cops hit. I'm not mad at her. It's her body, her choice. If it wasn't interfering with her work, if she was doing things, uh, you know, consensually, wasn't causing no problems in the workplace, what's the problem? There was no power dynamic in the situation. Right. They all officers, you know, if she wants to sleep with six different people and her husband is fine with that, I have no issue. Now, the two that got caught at work doing it, I totally get it. Right. I totally understand why that's a fireable offense. So let's open up the phone lines. What's wrong with having sex or relationships with coworkers outside of work? Outside of work. Even TJ Holmes, their their relationship was outside of work. No, I'm not doing that. Where's Dr. Umbaugh when you need him? That is a whole different conversation. It's the same Dr. Umbaugh situation. I don't want to do that. What about ism? Let's just keep it here. 800-585-1051. Let's talk about it. got a beautiful queen at home. (laughs) <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. But regardless, they were doing it. he snow bunny out- fever. I don't have nothing. That, that that has nothing to do with nothing. Let them work their situation She had BBC out. fever? You be on point up. <laughs> <laughs> you be on point up. Okay, King. 800-585-1051. Okay. What's wrong okay. with having a relationship with somebody that you work with? That's the question. Outside of work, if it's Outside not interfering work. with work, if you're not doing anything, you know, at the job, if it's Correct. not causing problems in the workplace, what's the issue? Here? Let's talk about it. 800-585-1051. And school us if we sound foolish. All right. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. It's topic time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Let's talk about it. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. What's Good happening? Morning. Good morning. It's hump day, so this is a hump day story, damn it. Oh, my goodness. They humping, humping, humping in Nashville. Is that, that Nashville? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee. Is that Virginia? Nashville, Tennessee. Is it Nashville, though? Nash- Nashville, Tennessee. It is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's Nashville. I don't know if the city is Nashville. That's what I'm, I'm asking you. Is it no, Nash- oh. it's Laverne. Laverne. Never heard of it. Me neither. All right, so let's fill you in. All right, so some Tennessee cops, including a married female, that she look, she loves the way another cop looks because he had a big black. That's right. Yes. She let like six other cops hit. Yes. Or she. Or five you, other cops. I mean, you could t- you could turn it around. You could say she smashed six she guys. She smashed other five other yep, guys. Yep. 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 Well. Uh, two of them have been suspended. Three or four of them have been fired. And that's the, the guys that have been fired is because they had, I believe, sex on the job. I understand that. That's the one I understand. The, the guys that she had sex with on the job, I understand them getting uh, fired. But other than that, I'm not mad at her. It's her body, her choice. If it wasn't interfering with her work, wasn't causing problems in the workplace, what is the problem? There's no power dynamic in this situation. They all officers. If that female cop you know, wants to sleep with other police officers off duty. What is the problem here? Now, here's the issue I have. I'm too. listening. Why are all these adults talking? But like, that was her problem. She shouldn't have been telling anybody unless somebody seen it. But she shouldn't have been telling anybody. It shouldn't have been minding her business. She's bragging about right. the size of the penis. She's That's right. topping. You know what I mean? They shouldn't have had that conversation. A situation like that, mm-hmm. you're supposed to get told on. Like somebody's supposed to say, Correct. you know that she'd be out here smashing this person and smashing that person. But why are you telling your own business? You a grown adult. You know what I mean? Nobody needs to know who you're sleeping with. See, this is, this is my problem. Like for most people, when they work, they work eight hours a day, nine to five, right? You work nine to five or you work, you know, eight to four. So the the people that you're around the most is the people that you work with. So who, who are you most likely to have a relationship with? It's more it's more likely that you'll be attracted to somebody that, that you work with. You see all the time. That's right. If you, you work at the post office or you work at Amazon or FedEx or an office building, yeah. you're around somebody eight, nine hours a day. You're more likely to talk to them because when you get off work, you usually tired. You go home, you go to sleep. Yeah, so have, you're, you're more right. likely to date them, see them, smash them. So I don't see a problem with as long as it doesn't affect your job y'all having conversations y'all growing Correct. emotional connections like things can happen so once again the story is wild because she's a young white woman sleeping with all these black dudes and you really need to go to to the ny times and look at the picture of her eating fried chicken spring beans <laughs> and macaroni and cheese i don't have i don't know what that have to do with they anything, turned her out but that picture says a lot <laughs> <laughs> they, they turn, they that, turn that picture says a lot. And if that woman wants to let those men pipe, I don't see the problem as long as it's not interfering with work and as long as it's not happening at work. Hello, who's this? This is Rochelle B. Hey, Rochelle. Good morning. What's your thoughts, Rochelle? 
I think that if uh, this man who had the big black thing was hitting at that um, the little white girl, then he should be suspended. I think he should have put his thing in another race. Oh, yeah, we should save him oh. without people. Oh, you, you, you go to Dr. Umar school, huh? <laughs> so you want to suspend him because a, a black brother was, was knocking down a white girl? First of all, that Jesus did not tell people to go and um, sleep with other races. He said, Jesus. save your own kind. So oh, yeah, he should be suspended. I'm not gonna say fire him, but a little goodness bit of, gracious, a little bit upset about that. What scripture? What scripture was that? <laughs> Listen, God did not tell everybody to go sleep with other races. He said, stay with your own. He ain't go to the stay sick Sally and sick Jew. No. What? I don't know. I don't know what you just said. Thank you, Mama. I know that Noah bought two pairs of everything on the boat, but maybe they were the same color. <laughs> what? Or the ark? I'm sorry. Goodness, he said the boat. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Wendy. Hey, MV. Hey, hey Wendy. Hello, man. How you guys doing? Peace, morning, Wendy. Wendy. What's happening? What's so, your this is my opinion. I must go with the Haitian accent because this is annoying. Okay. Sac passé. Sac passé. Sac passé. So let us be a lesson to the people of Breakfast Club. You don't cut out where you. You don't what? Okay, you don't. You don't. You don't poop where you. You eat. don't cut like, out where you eat. You don't hear? Oh, 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 got you. I got don't you. care. I don't care. Let yeah, I me mean, think about it. It's like six degrees of penis separation. Everyone sleeping with each other. I mean, if she's fucking one, she sucks the other one. Did anyone do STD testing? That's nasty. That's nasty. Well, maybe they know it's, what type of insurance benefits they got, so they weren't worried about F FTDs. They but, know what health insurance but they But, Mama, got. Yeah. where do you work yeah. at, Mama? Where do you work at? Where do you work? Who, me? I, I have two jobs. I'm a personal care aide, and I work at a boarding school. Okay, so it's more likely if you work all day long, you're more likely going to be more connected to somebody you work with because you're always at work, right or wrong? Oh, no, thank you. Everybody palm colored. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm noticing okay. a pattern here. None of us, none of us like these interracial hookups. Is what I'm getting from this. Jesus, all right. Mike Lee could have never made Jungle Fever in this era. That'd be an outrage. 800-585-1051. We're talking about these Tennessee cops now. Uh, a small Tennessee uh, white woman police officer. She was married. She was you know having. How small she is? She took, I can see a picture. She looks small. Well, something big. But she's taking a lot of penis. Uh, <laughs> right. right. Well, she was having sex romps at work. Uh, we believe they were all black brothers. Uh, I don't she, know if they was all black, but at least a couple of pictures I saw. Yeah, she said that <laughs> they had big black, you know what I mean. And She said one of them had a big black, a BBC. Go ahead and say BBC. Use the Pornhub link. All right, well, yeah, one of them had a BBC. Uh, three of them were, were fired, four of them were fired, two of them were just suspended. Um, and we're asking why, you know, if you... Now, don't, that, you're missing some context. What's that? She did sleep with two of them at work or something? Or yes. Or them off at, at work? At the gym and the police station, yes. So I understand that. I understand that happening. If you did it at work, I get it. But everything that happened off-duty, not at the workplace, I don't see the problem. 800-585-1051. Call us up right now. And also... Today is Mary J. Blige's birthday, so we're going to be playing some Mary all morning long. We're going to get into a little Mary mini mix. Happy birthday, Mary. Call me. Add your opinion to the Breakfast Club Top. Come on. 800-585-1051. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about something that's going on in Tennessee. Now, a Tennessee police station has been rocked all right, by allegations of wild sexual misconduct. Uh, a married female officer allegedly had steamy romps with six male officers. Mm. All right. Now, uh, two of them have been suspended. A couple of them fired. The reason that they were fired because uh, allegedly they had sex in the police gym and the police station. Totally understand that. All right, but but totally the other ones get suspended. I, we don't necessarily understand because they didn't have it on duty. They had it yeah. outside of work. Uh, her husband was allegedly a cuck. Uh, meaning he likes this type of thing. They had an open marriage. She was sending dirty pictures, and she even uh, was sending text messages and said one of them had a big black you-know-what. Yeah, like you said, they, they were sending dirty pictures. Uh, there was another instance in the article that said she took her top off Took her top off. Yep. at a Girls Gone Wild hot tub party. Yep. It's a Girls Gone Wild hot tub party. What is supposed to happen? Okay? And they said she even had oral sex with a couple of officers, you know, at the police station. That, I understand them being fired for if you're doing it at work but if you wasn't causing no problems in the workplace Correct. if it wasn't interfering with your work if you wasn't doing it at work what's the problem there's no power yeah. dynamic in this situation they're all offices 
That cop wants to pop, lock it, drop it. Who are we to judge? Yeah, you're right. Well, let's go to the phone lines. So please go look at the picture of her eating that fried chicken with the string beans and the macaroni and cheese with a big smile on her face, surrounded by black police officers. Hello, who's this? That's Cody Red, calling from Jackson, South Carolina. 843, what's happening in the Chuck this morning? Good morning, mama. Good morning, y'all. What's your opinion? Um, I feel as if you want to have sex with your cool brother being stable, and yes, that's fine, but as far as the ladies, which she's married. So, you know, a lot of these military jobs, officer jobs, police officers, they hold integrity and honor inside their business as part of their, of their policy. Well, she so, said, she said the husband knew about it, though. Only, yeah, she said the husband was uh, in on it. She the said the husband, husband was good. It. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's still a form of adultery, though. A lot of these places, like, where the officers, the police officers work, they don't play that because adultery is not only a sin, it's a crime in some states. So that can get you sued and arrested. So a lot of these places... They don't want you doing that while you're working for them because it can fall back on up. Yeah, but even if it's off duty, it's off duty. Hello, who's this? Adele. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, uh, what's your what's your thoughts on what, what's happening in Tennessee? So I don't think that it's right for any anybody to be messing around in an open relationship, whether it be at work, at school, with friends, with strangers, and it has to do more so of the medical aspect of it. I mean, oh, you're talking oh, about catching oh, you, diseases yeah. and things like that, but we're talking about possibly getting fired. I mean, that too. I, I mean, yeah, diseases, of course, but there's a lot of diseases that people don't know about uh, that aren't even tested in men and women. So even if you have an open relationship and you get an STD panel, it's not going to show HPV. Okay. You're a party pooper. You feel me? Yeah, like men, there's no test pooper. for men. Okay. What do you mean there's no test for men? Oh, as far as HPV is concerned? Well, you didn't know this? You talking about for HPV? How old are you? <laughs> you I'm asking. You're talking about for HPV, right? Yeah, there's no test for men. Men cannot be tested. Why do you think, like, women, all of a sudden, they're in a relationship for, like, 10 years, and then all of a sudden, the woman comes back HPV positive, and she's now 30 years old. Well, I don't like how you flip this on the men. I don't like how you flip this on the men, because in this situation, this young lady was the one who slept with five different people. No, 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 no. I feel you on that. But what I'm saying is women aren't tested for HPV until they're after 30 years old. Oh, got There's you. There's no test for men. Okay. Thank you, Mom. Well, thank you for the HPV PSA, man. Hello, who's this? Yo, I'm, I'm just go. I'm just go by Blank Man, man. All right, Blank Man. What, what's what's your thoughts? <laughs> hey, my thought. Hey, man, it's more exciting, man. I've done it plenty of times, man. I, I go to I go to medical buildings and their hospitals, man. These these married women, man, they be they see a, a nice young man coming at that like they never seen it before. You heard? What, what's your name? Don't worry about it, man. Blank Man. <laughs> 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 BBC guy. BBC guy. I mean, BBC I go, guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, man, I go, I go to these medical clouds in these buildings, man. I've done it at work. I've done it. And, hey, you a whole, you, you, I'm playing a role. I'm another character when I go to work. But when I'm at home, you feel me? Man, let me just tell you one thing, brother. What you got to do is you got to call your, your service, whether you got ATT, T-Mobile, or whatever, and you got to block your name on it because your whole name came up. Oh, shit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh man. Hello, who's this? Yeah, this is uh, Mike. Mike, I can tell you your name is not really Mike because your name pops up on our call ID, but go ahead, we'll rock with you, Mike. <laughs> okay. What's your thoughts? No, you know, I, I it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me smash your co worker. This is all you smash that work. I'll smash my co worker, you know what I'm saying? What? So I I, I get it. So you smashing your coworkers right now, but if your job finds out, you know you could be fired. Well, they they they, they, they don't know that we're smashing, but they know that we're together. But this is all we can't do. As long as we ain't doing it at the job, then it's okay. That's you know what I'm saying. That's but what I feel. At the same time, they they found out. The manager found out. Not the supervisor found out first. Then the manager found out. When the manager found out, they just changed our schedule. Hold on, you said the script club. No, not the strip club. Oh, no, no, no. no. They, my- I said they, I said they found out that we that that we was interacting with each other, and they changed our schedule. And, and that and that don't even matter because it's not like y'all interacting with each other at work anyway. Right. All right. Right. Hey man. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. 
All right. <laughs> What's the moral of the story, man? The moral of the story is I understand it all. I understand why this cop got fired, especially for topping other officers off at the workplace. But I still believe what you do outside of the workplace is your business. Okay, if it wasn't interfering with her work, wasn't causing problems in the workplace, I don't see the problem with it. But furthermore, adults, if y'all are getting it in outside of the workplace, can you keep it to yourself? Absolutely. Can you can, can you keep it between the people that you're sleeping with? Do you have to brag to the world? I don't care how big the penis is. Goodness gracious. You don't got to tell nobody. That's how y'all be getting jammed up. You tell talk me. too damn much. You should be opening your mouth for one situation. And that's to insert that BBC. Goodness Other gracious. Other than that, Shut up. All right. Well, when we come back, we got your rumor report. Gunner. Well, we finally hear from him from uh, the time he's been released in December. So we're going to hear what he has to say. He actually posted something on Instagram. We'll tell you about it when we come back. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ and the Charlemagne the God. I'm A. Oh, niggas always want to hate for no damn reason. Hey. No, I said A. Hey. Oh, A. That's even worse. You know, little Baby got a song called Hey. It's called Hey, right? Hey. Hey. Lil Baby ain't got no song called Hey, he do? Yes, it's called Hey. what you said. You hate or whatever. You hate. Hey. That's the old nigga call right there. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Hey. All right. Well, we are the Breakfast Club. Good morning on this hump day. How y'all feeling out there? in the doctor's office. Hey. I got a tooth removed yesterday, by the way. I know. I called you. You sounded all funny. I was like, why you sound like that? I just left the dentist. I didn't know I was going to have to have a tooth removed because I had a tooth that's going like inward. Uh huh. Like it's not lined up. Mm -hmm. So the dentist just uh, decided to remove it. And just then take I'm gonna, it out. And then I'm gonna get them implants in the back. You gonna get veneers? No, I'm not gonna get the whole thing. But just in the back, so I can have some back teeth. So you ain't got back teeth right now? I don't think so. Don't open your mouth for me. You got to have back teeth. You ain't got no back teeth, boy. That's when you really know it's over. <laughs> That's when you get free pancakes at IHOP. That's you got to get, you got to have your goodness. back teeth, man. Make Grace. sure you got back teeth. My goodness. That's why I'm not mad at nobody who be getting veneers. You got to get your back teeth. So as um, soon as um, this Invisalign, mm -hmm. cause the top, the top Invisalign, all the teeth up here are straightening up. So she says. Mm -hmm. So once the bottom straighten up, I'm definitely getting them veneers in the back. Right. You know what I mean? I know you like it in the back, but all right, when we come back, we got Why? your rumor report. Why? Uh, there's, no, there's no reason for that. All right, Gunna children listening. Posted on his Instagram feed for the first time since being released in from jail in December. So we'll talk about that. We'll tell you what he had to say. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. All right. <laughs> morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get to the rumors. Let's talk El DeBarge. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty uh, pat. I'm gossiping. This this is the rumor report. I mean, oh I guess we're on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. When are we going to stop calling this the rumor report? Ain't no damn rumors. I don't know. But El DeBarge. Explain to the people who El DeBarge is. You El always want to explain stuff. El DeBarge is a El DeBarge is an R&B singer. Uh, he's a legend when it comes to a lot of the hits he's put out. His family are uncle, legendary. Eh? It's not my uncle. I do get mistaken like I should be part of their family. And if you don't know who El DeBarge is, El DeBarge has been arrested and hit with several charges, including drugs and weapon possession, after being stopped at a gas station in California. Uh, he's also known to uh, be in trouble in the last couple of years of uh, getting arrested for drugs and drugs possession, drug paraphernalia, and all of that. He clearly, I say allegedly, he, he clearly has a substance abuse problem. So mm -hmm. it's just like, why do people like that? You know, instead of arresting them, why not you know, send them to some type of rehab facility? It doesn't seem like jail is what that man needs. That man needs, you know, some type of cleanup. Mm -hmm. I would think. Well. They're saying that the illegal weapon is uh, they found some pepper spray and suspected narcotics. They said you can't have pepper spray. I, they, I have no idea. What? Yep, they found a baton. No gun. I don't. It's it, they said weapon possession. No, they found a baton, which is Man. an illegal weapon. They found pepper spray and suspected narcotics. They said uh, they believe he also had uh, not a valid driver's license. See, that's why nuance matters, and that's why headlines are so dangerous. Because I saw that headline, I just assumed it's it was a gun. gun. I thought you so know too. what I mean? A pe pepper spray and a baton. You can't have pepper spray and a baton. That's what police officers carry all the time. Yeah, but shout out to Elder Barge. Uh, I know he listens every morning. But like you said, he needs help. He's getting arrested. <laughs> Wait a minute. How the hell? You know El DeBarge listens every morning. Because he would tweet us. Really? Yeah. Stop lying. I swear. I never heard you say that in the El life. El DeBarge has tweeted us before and said he listens in the morning. Well, Bobby Brown has tweeted us before I and said Bobby he listens. I know Bobby has. Like I don't be on Twitter, so I don't know. But yeah. And why the hell you bring up Bobby Brown with El DeBarge? I'm just, these are some legends. Naming OGs? Yes. Okay. Now, What's wrong with pepper spray, though? Do you have know. salt spray? I, I, Paprika spray? I, like pepper spray and a baton? I, 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 you I, actually I, should take those weapons and give them something a little stronger. <laughs> 
I, I don't know. Now, Gunna, he finally uh, posted something since he'd been re- been released in December. Now, he posted a picture of himself. It looks like in his crib, his family room, or wherever he has a studio set up. He said, Ig is acting like switching to a side, but it's only one side. Hashtag YSL the label. Hashtag free thug and yeah, Gunna back. All right. So he posted. Seems like he's doing some music. Now the the comments you, you, you are in shambles. Yeah, I saw some of the comments. <laughs> the comments they, was are killing, in they was killing Gunner, man. Yeah, they were, they, the comments are in shambles. But see, that's the thing I don't understand about the Gunner situation. I, I I really don't know if he was telling or not. Nor 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 do I care because you know I'm not uh, a street. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, has has anybody said that he was telling? Well, they're saying with him saying you know the whole thing is they're trying to prove that YSL is. A label and not mm-hmm. a gang, and he confirmed that it's also a gang. So that's what people are saying that he is telling about. Mm. Did anybody confirm that though? Did like thugs oh, say, no. "Hey, I'm"? No. Nope. I've heard people after Gunner that are NYSL that you can clearly see a telling. Absolutely. I didn't sound like Gunner was doing that. I don't no. know. I could be wrong. I don't, I'm not a. I'm not a. I don't know nothing about the law in that way. No. Nah. Who nah. the glasses from Lone to? He got a song called Yes, Ma'am. I don't know if you put it out yet, but I can't lie. It's kind of hard. Really? It's pretty hard. Shout to Glass Malone. Now, Meek Mill, Kevin Hart, and uh, Mike Rubin are donating $7 million to Philadelphia area educational causes. So that is pretty dope. They're giving some money back. Uh, I I love to hear that. And Meek Mill posted yesterday, you know, you put all my negative-ish in the blogs. Why not some of the positive stuff? I agree. Salute to uh, Meek Mill, Kevin Hart, and Michael Rubin for doing that for Philly. Dropping the clues bombs for Meek Mill, Kevin Hart, and Michael Rubin. Okay, that's why I said it's hard to tell if Meek is that who all over there, friend. You know what I'm saying? Because Meek does a lot of good. He does. You know, and what I mean by when I say the who all over there, friend, is that person. You'd be like, well, who all over there? And they'd be like, oh, there's Meek in them. you like, oh, I ain't coming. But it's very hard to put him in that category because he does such good stuff. Mm-hmm. That's true. You can tell me he got a good heart. Yeah, absolutely. He's a good person. I mean, he gets caught up in a lot of BS, but he's a good person. Now, the Coachella 2023 lineup has been released. And you know who one of the biggest artists are? Are you allowed to say Coachella? <laughs> I, thought they, I thought they told you keep their name out your mother effing mouth, Envy. Huh? Bad Bunny is performing at that concert in California. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Bunny is performing. Me, uh, Pusha T, Metro Boomin, Frank Ocean, just to name a few. So uh, tickets, uh, the name has been announced, and that's going to go down uh, Friday, April 14th and through the 21st. Uh, Blackpink, I don't know who that is, is performing, and Frank Ocean is performing. Loot to well. Coachella, man. Coachella be bullying people out Yo, there. they do. Okay? And he, want, and he wanted to put a cella at the name of his little car show. <laughs> hey, you know who else? Afro Cella had to change their name. They, this the last year that is Afro Cella. Next year it's gonna be Afro Futurism. Mo- Afro Future. Mo Cella in DC, Maryland. That that little show got right. them too. Well, as soon as Coachella find out, about, oh they got them oh, too. Oh, got them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. They don't play. Yeah. They don't play. They're serious and they don't care. They got enough money to to, to take it to court. So, salute to everybody at uh that concert in California. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Charlamagne, who you give that donkey to? Man, we need this young lady named Donisha Holiday from Memphis. Salute to Memphis, man, the great city of Memphis. But we need Donisha Holiday to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with her, even though I feel her pain. We will discuss. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Your mornings will never be the same. Looking to turn a small bet into a big payday? With DraftKings Sportsbook Same Game Parlays, you can pocket more cash when you can buy multiple bets from one game. Download the app, sign up with code ENVY, that's E-N-V-Y, and get a special offer. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Breaking news. Bre- breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Good morning, everybody. It's Yo. DJ Envy, Charlemagne the God from the Breakfast Club. Now, breaking news. What do we have? You'll care about this if you're at the airport. Uh, the FAA has ordered airlines to halt all U.S. departures until 9 a.m. Eastern after a system that provides pilots with pre-flight safety notices went offline. Okay. Uh, according to the press secretary of the United States of America, the president has been briefed by the secretary of transportation this morning on the FAA system outrage outage. There is no evidence of a cyber attack at this point but the president directed who the hell is oh department of transportation to conduct a full investigation into the causes the faa will provide regular updates i started to say who the hell is dot <laughs> <laughs> i had to think about it I'm like who the hell is dot oh okay time goodness. for donkey today let's go you get donkey of the day you do dumb ass you get donkey of the day you do dumb ass you are a donkey it's time for donkey of the day. 
big, huh? I'm going to fatten all that shit around your eyes. They want this man to throw them blows, man. They wait for Charlemagne to tap these gloves. Let's go. They had to make a judgment of who was going to be on the donkey of the day. They chose you. Yes. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? We can stop putting dots in acronyms. Remember when they used to be periods and acronyms? Like so it'd be yeah. like so if it's Department of Transportation is D, period, O, period, T. If yeah. I just see dot, I read it as dot. Anyway, mm. don't get it today for Wednesday, January eleventh, called the Donisha Holiday of the Great City of Memphis. Drop on the clues bombs for Memphis. Yes. Okay, and everybody who listens to us on K97 in Memphis now. I've told y'all this before, but I will repeat this for the people, okay? Something happened after COVID. I don't know what it is, what it was, but the world changed, okay? My grandmother used to say, uh, God bless the dead. My grandmother used to say, I have never seen a time like this before, and that was the 90s, okay? That was in the 1900s, all right? Now in 2022, I feel the same way. I have never seen violence, uh, murder of family on family, friend on friend, killing of uh, old people and children, you know, I've never seen this many just evil situations in all of my life, okay? I don't know what it is that has caused this, you know, this switch in behavior. And I'm saying that things were great before COVID, but man, something went off the rails. And I don't know if folks are discussing it, but I know my common sense is telling me something not right. All right, it seems like it's more senseless killings, uh, more self-medication, a.k.a. drug use, depression at an all-time high, anxiety at an all-time high. Folks have no self-worth, no direction. And I wish these politicians would stop sending billions of dollars to Ukraine and spend that money in our communities on mental health initiatives and health initiatives, period. Because if not, we ain't going to make it. All right, folks is fed up. And today's story is no exception. She, Donisha Holiday, works at Family Dollar. Drop on the clues bomb for Family Dollar. Oh, Family Dollar. I remember when I was a delusional young lad who actually thought things in Family Dollar actually just cost a dollar. Mm -mm. Okay, I know in 2023 that's not the case with inflation. They should update the name of the store to Family Dollars. Okay, but Donisha is a Family Dollar employee who was recently disciplined for excessive sick, day, sick days. Now listen. <sighs> you know, all employees, you know, I, I hear that if I heard that from an employee right now, it wouldn't bother me. You know, it wouldn't bother me because we know it's all types of stuff going around. RSV, flu, COVID. Okay, COVID got so many remixes, you would think R. Kelly was home. All right, like folks is sick and don't even know why they sick. I know people close to me who over the holidays were sick and, you know, tested for COVID and tested for flu and it came back negative. But the doctor told them they was getting over something and they don't even know what the something was. So for her to use excessive sick days, I don't see the problem. Okay, not to mention... We don't know what this young woman is dealing with. She may be dealing with something way worse than any of those things I just mentioned, okay? And clearly she is because I have to tell you this story, right? The manager of Family Dollar said that Donisha sent her a text message saying she wasn't coming to work because she was sick. Fair. The manager said after she told Holiday she was being removed from the schedule for calling in sick too much. How do you tell somebody they calling in sick too much? You don't know if that person's sick or not. But after the manager told Donisha that, what do you think Donisha did, Envy? Just guess. Memphis, her name is Donisha. What do you think? She called out sick again? Nope. What? She came into work. But when she came into work, she showed up at the business with a pistol. Okay. What? A gun. Oh, all right. That poor boy that makes sure all your kids won't grow. I don't know if it was a 4-4. I just felt oh. like quoting Tupac. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, that's one of the most toxic lines ever. My 4-4, make sure all your kids won't grow. But the store manager said Donisha pulled the gun out of her right pocket, pointed it at her, and waved it around. Police said there were three other employees and customers at the register when it happened. The victim said Holiday put the gun back in her pocket and threw a stapler at her before <laughs> another employee escorted her out the store. That employee had to be Donisha's friend mm -mm -mm. because ain't no way. Okay, I see someone mad. With a gun? I'm running. And I, exactly. I'm going <laughs> to escort them out the store? Come on, man. Especially, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't nobody doing that if they're not your friend. Because there ain't no regular Family Dollar employee doing that. Family Dollar ain't dying for you. In fact, if you work at Family Dollar and you get killed in Family Dollar, I have a feeling the corporation of Family Dollar going to start a GoFundMe for your funeral. Now, the manager of Family Dollar said that Donisha threatened to shoot up her vehicle before leaving. Police said uh, Donisha was taken into custody on Thursday and admitted to being armed with a gun when she came to the Family Dollar. But she told investigators that she had the gun because she wanted to be prepared and took it out of her pocket to adjust it in her holster. Look, man, it's a tough time in Memphis right now. Okay, Gangsta Boo just passed. Folks on edge, all right? But my people, my people, my people, if you work at Family Dollar, you know you can't afford to have an aggravated assault and three counts of reckless endangerment charge. Her bond has been set at $10,000. I know she don't have that money, but the reality is none of us do. 
Okay, none of us can afford to have those kind of charges. None of us need to have those problems. And I don't understand why we don't think about those things before we make those kinds of decisions. Okay, life is about choices. But there is something that has happened to us over the last couple of years that is causing people to snap and make the poorest of choices. And if we don't start providing these people with the resources they need to survive and thrive out here, God help us all. Please give Danisha Holiday the sweet sounds of that. Good morning, USA. Yo 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 Charlemagne the God. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Hump day. That's right. It's Wednesday, Hump Day, middle of the week. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is our first Wednesday of the year. No, it's the first Wednesday here. I said it's our first oh. Wednesday of the year. Keyword R. So R. you need to get your ears fixed now. Right. You need to go get an ear surgery. <laughs> ear you surgery. got your nose job. Now you need to get an ear job. Okay, you might got polyps in your ears. Shut up. Can you man. get polyps in your ears? Because clearly you can get polyps in all types of holes. I don't know. Because I, I, I never heard of the polyps in your nose till you told me. Yeah. And, you know, I got, keep telling y'all all week I got a colonoscopy in December. Colonoscopy, had, man. Whatever. It's in your butt. And I had zero polyps. Okay, so maybe there's polyps in your ears too. Well, you know, uh, you know, boob job was the number one uh, most popular cosmetic surgery. Now it's liposuction. Mm. Yeah, so that just came out yesterday on CNN. Since I wonder we're talking about. I, I wonder uh, who's getting both. And what I mean by that is, there's a lot of men who want to get their boobs removed, right? Yes. Because men be having man boobs. Yep. And then there's a lot of men who getting liposuction now. So I wonder who's getting, who's getting those. Like, what's the demographics of those uh, surgeries? I'd like to know. Yeah, you know, but. I think with the surgeries, I think is is creating a false sense of everything. Meaning, what do you mean? People don't want to work out anymore. People don't want to eat healthy now. They don't want to do what's right because no matter what, you can pull it out, you can suck it out, you can cut whoa. it out. Whoa, 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 oh whoa, goodness. bro! I ain't even had breakfast yet. Jesus Christ! You know my I mean. God! Jesus Christ! You're talking about the fat. You I don't know what you're talking you about. Kids are on their way to school. I'm what talk, is you, Jesus? Talking about liposuction. You Whoa. can pull it out. You can suck it out. You can Whoa. cut it out. No matter what you Whoa. do. Whoa! But if you don't change the lifestyle, it's still not healthy. Your, your heart is still have. Your heart is still be working extra. You still have clogged arteries. You'll still uh, have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high cholesterol. What is? Cl- yeah, right. High cholesterol. cholesterol. Yeah. And the reality of the situation is, uh, you, it it looks better when you actually you know change your lifestyle. Do it the right like, way. Like, don't just go you know get if you gonna get the surgery, don't just go get the surgery. The ones that end up looking the best are the ones that still work out, eat right, all of that good stuff. Yeah, because that can't be your routine. Nah, not at all. You know, when you get out of shape, you just run to a surgeon. Yeah, a lot of people do, it, and they do it numerous times, and they do it numerous times every couple of years. It's I do. It's not healthy. I do find it interesting that uh, nobody even lies to themselves no more about working out in the new year. No. <laughs> it used to no. be a time where everybody would be like, oh, I'm going to get in shape. No. Nope. Gyms be packed. You know what I mean? People done hung that up, huh? Now, now it's like, you want my doctor's number? My doctor help you out. Now, my doctor, you want to go to Columbia or you want to go to DR or, you know? No, no, no. Those kind of calls you getting? No. I, I don't know why you just don't be honest, you, but I'm not going I'm not going to press you anymore. I hate your you. Your body, your choice. Shut up, man. All right. Well, we got front page news next. Uh, the Mega Millions, I'll tell you, uh, if you are a winner or if nobody Did won. You play? I did play. I played too. How many tickets you bought? <laughs> I bought uh forty dollars worth. No, nah, I only bought uh twenty. I bought forty dollars no, worth. Yeah, I bought twenty. I bought ten uh ten quick picks. Yeah, I bought twenty quick picks, but I'm not a winner. Did anyway. anybody win? We'll talk talk about it when we come back. And today is a very special day. Play my joint. Guess whose birthday First is? Of all, that's my joint. It's Mary my J. joint. Oblige, be happy. Okay, that is my song. Turn it up. Whenever I'm feeling any oh. type of anxiety, whenever I'm feeling depressed in any way, shape, or form, because oh. my therapist tells me anxiety and faith cannot coexist. So whenever that anxiety kicks in, I start telling myself my own hero story, mm-hmm. and I like to tell myself my own hero story uh, by playing this record as well. Well, today is Mary J. Blige's birthday. Come on now. So happy birthday to the Queen, Mary J. Blige. Queen. We're gonna be doing mini mixes all morning long. Why? Because why Come not? On now. Why not? That's Mary. J. Blige, okay? We should be thankful that we live in a time uh, that Mary J. Blige also lives in as well. That's right. We should we thank God for Mary J. Blige's existence. Drop on the clues bombs for Mary J. Blige. This morning, damn it. That's right. Front page. And if you don't next. know this song verbatim, you don't have a soul. Good morning. Mary J. Blige. Happy, happy birthday, Mary J. Blige, by the way. Mm-hmm. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get in some front page news. 
All right, there is no winner of the Mega Millions jackpot. So right okay. now is at one point three five billion dollars. It's the second largest in history. I still like I like that, and the reason I like that is because I didn't win. So being that I didn't win gives you another uh, chance. It gets, it's still hope, right? <laughs> you know. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So the next drawing is this Friday. So by, good luck to anybody out there. By the way, playing the Mega Millions in the Powerball, it it, it it honestly just feels good because the reality of the situation is that's all folks want is a little bit of hope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's all. You, you can sell hope forever. You can't sell dope forever, but you can sell hope forever. But I want to see somebody win. Like, I want to see no, no, somebody no, 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 no. win. I know somebody. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's okay to be selfish here. Why the hell would we be playing it? I got, a, I got a pocket full of Mega Millions right now. Not a pocket full. I actually got one ticket. Look at my ticket right here. Let me see your ticket. I know you got it on. It's a loser. The mine's in my car. I don't care if it's a loser. You know why I don't care? Right. By the way, this might not be a loser. And that's the other thing. Y'all yeah. don't check y'all tickets because y'all right. don't hit the jackpot. But, you could but I go in there sometime and I get my $2, my $4. You're right. Because I got a Powerball or two. And man, I'd be happy. I'd be, I'd be grateful for that extra $4. And you, you know right. what I do with it? I ain't check mine. But I reinvested back into the Mega Millions, Mega Millions every single time. Goodness gracious, I gotta check mine. Now, at least 17 people are dead out in California. This is because of massive flooding. They're saying uh, more than 200,000 homes have been affected and more than uh, 200,000 businesses have no power. Now, this is all because of, like I said, the massive flooding and people have been leaving California like crazy. So definitely, if you got family in California, somebody you know, give them a call, check up on them and pray for them continuously. Very sad. Now, Joe Biden, uh, this is what I'm, I, I'm a little confused. Maybe you could help me out a little bit. Now, the House Oversight Committee is investigating uh, classified documents found at Biden's office. Now, they're saying that Biden's attorneys were cleaning out his office in Washington, D.C. This was the time when Trump was in office, when he had an office, of course, outside of the White House. They found these documents. And when they found these documents, why did they tell anybody they found these classified documents? It was the goddamn Department of Justice. Why wouldn't they tell people? What are you talking about? I would hope my attorneys wouldn't tell nobody. I don't think the Department of Justice is his personal attorney. No, they said his personal attorneys. They made it seem like his personal attorneys found it cleaning out his office. Well, they're doing the right thing. That's what you're supposed to do. What are they supposed to do? Uh, cover, cover for President Biden? Classified documents are you're not supposed to bring classified documents home if you're a, a, a sitting official. From what I from from what I was told, didn't they just get on Trump's ass about that? They sure did. Now, now we talk about double standards in the media. As soon as I heard that about Joe Biden, uh, President Biden, I said to myself, "Well, what's the difference between Trump having classified documents and Biden having classified documents?" You know, Biden says he doesn't even know what's in them, and then mm -hmm. literally, if you you know, go online, you see NBC News, CNN, they already writing think pieces, right. caping for Biden, saying that, you know, there's a, there, there's a, a, a big difference. Wait, I don't understand a big difference. Classified well, documents well, is classified documents. I mean, well, that's what I thought, but the, the, they say the Justice Department prosecutes the mishandling of classified documents when there is an aggravating factor present, and those factors are obstruction of justice, mm -hmm. uh, storage in a way that risks ex risk exposure, willful violation, and disloyalty to the United States. So I guess they're saying, you know, Trump checks off, tr Trump's boxes check off all those factors, and Biden does it. I don't know. Yeah, I, this, I this isn't Charlemagne the God talking. This is just what uh, I'm reading in these reports. That's what they're saying the difference is. Well, Biden spoke about it. When my lawyers were clearing out my office at the University of Pennsylvania, they set up an office for me, secure office in the Capitol. And as soon as they did, they realized there were several classified documents in that box. And they did what they should have done. They immediately called the archives. And I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were, and we're cooperating fully with the review, and which I hope will be finished soon, and uh, there will be more detail at that time. All I'm seeing in all these situations is uh, all these folks do the same thing. And depending on what side you're on, you care or you don't care. Mm-hmm. Depending on what side you on, you vilify, you don't vilify. Yeah. That's what I that's what I take from it. Now lastly, uh this might make me turn to Republicans, all right? Now Whoa. Let me tell you. Whoa! Pull it out and suck it out. Yo, shut up. Now the Republican uh House of Representatives will vote on a bill if they can get it passed that will abolish the IRS. That's right. They're trying to pass a bill that will abolish the Internal Revenue Service uh, and that will eliminate the national income tax and replace it with a national con uh, consumption tax. That's not that's not enough. To make me, <laughs> that, that's not enough to make me turn fascist. Nah, like, that's right, like, I'm just joking, like, but like, I would definitely support this bill. If Republicans weren't the, the, the party of full of fascists right now, I'd want to hear more. 
<laughs> man, you know, eliminate the national income tax. And what does that mean, though? Uh, that don't mean just because they get rid of the IRS, that don't mean that they're not going to put something else in place to take our damn money out of our Well, they said consumption tax, so when you uh, consume certain items, whether it's alcohol or, or cigarettes or cannabis or whatever it may be, they'll charge a little higher for that, but they won't be charging anybody's check out there. So if you work wherever you work and they take that uh, 15, 20, 30, 8, 40 percent, that's yeah, all your money. You, you know what's going to happen in that situation. You think inflation high now. Yeah, if they ever if they ever got rid of income tax, inflation would be through the roof. But if you think about it, I went to Krispy Kreme the other day. A dozen donuts was twenty three dollars, man. But that's crazy. A dozen. All I got, and it was all, all I got was six original glaze and six uh with the with the strawberry frosting and the sprinkles for the kids, man. You a fat ass. And it was twenty three dollars. But think about it. They they always say you know they always raise taxes, but then they always send. 3.5 billion to this country or 300 million to this country. Where do they find the money to send to all these other countries? But when it comes to our country, they don't. All right, bro. Mm. It's clearly our tax money. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Well, that is your front page news. Get it off your chest. 800 585 1051. If you need to vent, hit us up now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. I understand that. I wouldn't tell nobody either. I'd be super anonymous. Listen, he was let it known that she wanted to. And these men with phone charges was just, baby, okay? Your, your phone sounds like you need to win the lottery to buy a better one, but I think what you're <laughs> saying is that a bunch of men uh, started hollering at her yep. because she won the lottery? Correct. Okay. Hello, who's this? Hello. Hey, who's this? Why are you yelling, bro? Yeah. Stop what's up? What's, Yo, what's stop hold screaming. Up, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm out here screaming. driving this truck this morning. But why are you screaming? Bro, I'm trying, I'm trying to get off. I'm kind of mad this morning. Because oh, you didn't win the Mega Millions. Now I'm, and I got to drive this truck, but we need to get this off. We got the Cowboys. If we don't win this week, we need to get rid of the whole team. We don't need to get rid of the Drop whole team. Over. We don't need to get rid of the whole team, but we need to get rid of Mike come McCarthy. Come on, Charlamagne. Come on. Come on, Charlamagne. We, we got to get rid of them. No, we got to get rid of Mike McCarthy. I'm going to tell you something, though, King. Are you ready for this? Come on. We're going to lose the wild card game, bro. I already know that. We gonna you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I already know that. Goodness gracious, I have no I'm, faith I'm, in your I'm, team. I'm, we gonna lose the wild card game. Tom Brady is undefeated against the Cowboys. The Cowboys are one in four on grass. Dak Prescott has been playing horribly. I don't know what has happened to our defense. I have no faith in us. If we win, I'll be happy. But I don't have no expectations. I wouldn't bet. I definitely ain't betting. Man. But I just wanted to say one thing. What's this that? is oh, this is OG from the seven five seven. And can I give a shout out to my people? Go ahead, man. I'm gonna shout out to the Southern Hospitality and Food Truck. Okay. We've been down now four years. We went through COVID, and we striving, and we doing good. I right, blow the horn one time, brother. Here we go. I, I am up in the, uh, New York City. Uh-huh. All right, brother. Be safe. All right. Hello, who's this? What's happening? And we just a lot of girl. What's up, brother? Get it off your chest. Uh, I just want to tell for a lot of the Florida, all the people with the small black businesses, we need to go a little harder this year. We need to try to really compete with the big people as far as make sure your presentation, make sure everything look good. Make sure you bring the best services to your community. You know, and then also one thing is with the black celebrities, how about we start investing with the um, small communities? You know, not Papa John's and all the other big names, so... Just hope we have a good 2023. Well, listen, you know, uh, uh, Uncle Charlotte back there. Yeah, I'm right here. I agree with you, but you know, there's nothing wrong with investing in Papa John's, especially if Papa John's is in your local community, because Papa John's is providing jobs as well, and you got people in your local community who might be franchise owners of those places. That's true, but if you're making two, three, four million, you got an extra five hundred thousand to throw to a little small company, a little, a little. Hundred thousand or whatever, you can help them build themselves up, and they can bring in some people as well. Oh, I agree. I agree with that too. I think. I think it all helps. Yep. Get it off your chest. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you need to vent, hit us up now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. We want to hear from you on the Breakfast Club. So if you got something on your mind, let it out. Hello, who's this? Yo, Happy New Year, bro. It's Mello. Mello, what's up, Mello? Yo, man, I just want to say Happy New Year. I'm happy for y'all. The MV, man, I want more for you, bro. What you mean? You got to stop that. You got to stop man, Charlamagne. Get you with this, bro. You be trying to improve your life, and he be flipping it, and it's, you be having a week, bro. Mellow. Like, he did it with your beard, and now all of a sudden he's doing it with the nose job. You got to fight back, bro. Mellow, this is what you got to understand, Mellow. This is what I realized in life. 
Short individuals are always jealous, especially short individuals that can't grow no hair on top of their head. So that's just who he is. So you just got to let him go. You just got to understand he's just jealous of me. I am not jealous of Envy. I love Envy. I, I just don't see the problem. Like, he got a nose job. I did not. He clearly he clearly got just from men on his beard. He clearly got the hairline surgery. I and did I, not. And I want him to tell his secret. So other people might feel like they want to do a little improvement on themselves, too. I ain't got no problem nah. with him treating himself. You got to, nah, you got he got to start packing you up, bro. You ball headed with a ball spot. Start fighting. <laughs> first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, Morris Chestnut said that he gets mistaken for me. That's a damn lie. So both of y'all can kiss That's my a ass. Lie, bro. You look like Morris left nut, big fella. <laughs> hey, I look like Morris, like, which as long as Morris and nut, I look like, I'm fine. Ah, mellow goodbye, man. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Yeah, hey, what's going on, Breakfast Club? This is uh, Mr. Dingo, Dingo0935. How y'all doing? Man? What's up, brother? That is a disgusting name. He calls all the time, Mr. Dingo, man. Right. Mr. Dingo. Thank you. Right. Come on. Thank you. Good morning, Thank you. Dingo. Dingo, Dingo. Dingo, get it off your chest, brother. Good morning. What's up, guys? Happy New Year. I'm glad to have y'all back on the show. And, man, I want to actually pick your brain, Charlemagne. I don't know if you heard about what was going on with the Doctor Strange actor. You know, Benedict Cumberbatch. Have you heard about the crazy stuff him and his family were up to? No, what happened? Dude, his family is facing legal pressure to pay reparations in connection to their ancestors being linked to the Barbados slave trade. Well, it's on NPR. What the LA Times said Benedict Cumberbatch is not facing slavery reparations. Yes, yeah, so I don't I don't know what But, you there, got but there, there's a bunch of stories that say Benedict Cumberbatch's ancestors got rich from slavery, but he's not facing slavery reparations. Hello, who's this? This is my age of Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get it off your chest. Listen, I want to be on the show. I think y'all should have me as y'all knew Angela Yee. Well, we are going to start rotating guest hosts soon. You know what I mean? We just wanted to get acclimated to the studio. Actually, we got a guest host coming yeah, tomorrow. You rotate me. All right. Well, last night was the Golden Globes. Give us some information. Go. The Golden Globes. Nah, you called me. Come on, See, now. You can't do that. Come on now. Come you know, on you know now. what's interesting though. I, I would like to know what would you talk about. Like, what would you want to talk about this morning if you was on the radio? Go. Anything. I I can talk about anything. Anything that's, that's that, popping that, right that, now. That's not how this it works. Don't take you, that much to... you can't even say that because you just said you could talk about anything. But Envy just asked you about the Golden Globes last night, and you ain't even know nothing. I don't watch the Golden Globes. But that's, 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 that's anything. Job, that's anything. Last time I checked, that's anything. Oh, anything. You know, SWV. I don't know. You have a good one, Mama. That's, that's fine. You can get you can get a, you can get acquainted with anything fast. I'm a fast learner. If you tell me to watch the Golden Globes, I could watch it, it was, five minutes and come up with something. It was last night, though. I understand that, but <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Mama. No, listen. I know you. I know you are. That's why I'm not taking it to heart. But understandably. If that's your job and, you know, that's something that you do, then I'm going to take that seriously. Me as a regular viewer or something, I don't really watch the Golden Globes, you know, but if that were to be my job, that's something that I'll be on ASAP. Baby, you don't have to talk to us like you're in a job interview. You, 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 this is not a job interview. <laughs> you are not, you know, being interviewed right now for any type of position. You don't no. have to speak to us like that. But I will say this, man. Uh, we are going to start rotating guest holes soon. And the reason that I know it's going to take a long time for us to find uh, somebody else to be in this position yes, is because people think this is easy. I'm not sitting there acting like we're doing rocket science here, but to wake up every day, Monday through Friday, it ain't just getting on this microphone and running your damn mouth. No. Okay? It's just not. And I know it, it seems like that in the world that we live in because everybody got a podcast Correct. and everybody got a YouTube show and everything else. But this morning grind is very, very different. And uh, when it's all said and done, y'all going to really appreciate what we've done over the past 13 years and counting. That's right. And coming up, we got your rumor report. And yes, we'll tell you about the Golden Globes, which was on last night. Of course, it was hosted by comedian Gerard Carmichael. And we'll tell you some of the big winners and all that. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. What's happening? We here. It's Wednesday. Yes. That I, means nothing to y'all, huh? Okay. Nah, it's something. That's all, right. all it is. Well, you'd be happy that you alive. Well, this weekend's a three-day weekend. It's my Luther King uh, day on Monday. Hey, we taking another vacation? We just got back. <laughs> what do you mean? It's you a holiday. work Monday? No, we ain't got to go work Monday. You sure? Positive. Hey, I'm not mad at that, Banks man. Banks closed. I think schools closed. Everything. I got to do that for the, for the Big Martin. Drop on the we club. We got to do that for the culture.
I have a dream that I would not be here on Monday. I think right. I'm going to do a party. I might throw Martin on a party. I have a dream party. Don't do that. Don't be one of them niggas. I'm just that, joking. That's, that's, and by the way, I'm trying not to say the N-word no more. <laughs> I, I really am. That is my resolution. But when you say stuff like that, you make me say it. Because I could. you you one of them people that'll be standing next to Martin Luther King Jr. on your fly, on a flyer and have Martin Luther King Jr. holding a bottle of Ducey or something stupid. He be pointing. See what I'm saying? See? Don't do that. All I'm right. pointing at your nose, yo. <laughs> yo, shut up. Let's get to the rumors. We're talking to uh, Golden Globes. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty uh, patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. You're not about to hear one rumor. All right. Well, the Golden Globes was last night. Did you watch it? No, I watched like the last uh, 40 minutes. I forgot it was on. I don't be caring about that kind of stuff. But I, I, when they told me Gerard Carmichael was hosting, I did turn it on. Well, he was hosting last night, and we have a, a snippet of his uh, opening monologue, right? I am your host, Gerard Carmichael. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm black. That's all they got, huh? Is it true that Gerard Carmichael was the first black host of the Golden Globes? That can't be true, right? Mm, I don't know. I that's, don't know either. That's a good question. It, it, in 80 years? I, I have no idea. If so, it's really crazy how much white institutions don't F with others, for real. Nah. <laughs> in 2023, we still talking about him being the first black person to host the Golden Globes? I'm not celebrating that. Well, Eddie Murphy, if it's true. Eddie Murphy picked up a, a, an award last night, and when he spoke, he cracked a little joke on Will Smith. I want to let you know that there is a... A definitive blueprint that you can follow to achieve success, prosperity, longevity, and peace of mind. It's a blueprint, and I followed it my whole career. It's very simple. There's three things you just do. These three things: pay your taxes. True. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. True. True. And keep Will Smith's wife's name. Now, who's that a joke to? Is that a joke towards Will or a joke towards Chris? Or both? It's just a joke. Both. Just, it's just a joke? Both. Yeah, it's just both. Just both. Feels kind of old and dated. I mean, I wanted more from Eddie Murphy. You know what I mean? Because what Eddie gave us, I guess, in that, that last 15 seconds is what I needed for the for the whole thing. Because we don't hear from Eddie much. So when not I much. see him on stage in front of a microphone, I want to hear more. Right. By the way, not just from Eddie. By everybody. Because nobody cares about all the people you need to thank. I am so sick of people just getting up there well, and thanking agent, folks. He thanks his family. He thanks, he thanks his kids. Yeah. He thank God. Do that in an email. <laughs> do that in an email. <laughs> he thank God. You could I, you could do that on stage. I'm with that. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say do that in an email. No, like, you could do that. You know, but, all right. So some of the winners. Uh, best performance by an actress in a television series went to... Uh, Quinta Brunson for Abbott Elementary. Man, so so deserving. Drop on the clues, Bronson for Abbott Elementary. I, I, I told y'all in season one how much I like that show, but season two is even more more phenomenal. Salute to everybody over there. Best television series, Abbott Elementary. It's very deserving. Uh, what else? Uh, best performance by an actress uh, was uh, Zendaya for Euphoria. Come on now, they getting some things right over there at the Golden Globes, huh? Yep. Uh, best television series drama was House of Dragon. If you're into that, uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's uh, that Game of Thrones spinoff? Yeah, Game of Thrones spinoff. I don't watch stuff like that. My best, wife do, though. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role was uh, Tyler James Williams in Abbott Elementary. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Back it up, Tyler. I don't know if you watch Ozark, but uh, Julia Garner won for best performance by an actress in a supporting role. She's pretty mm -hmm. dope. Um, and uh, best actress in a supporting role in any motion picture was Angela Bassett, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Now, I know that was the first. That was the first. She's the first person in a Marvel movie to win a major award. That I know. Yes, let's hear her speech. To my Marvel Disney family, weeping, weeping may come in the evening, but joy comes in the morning. We embarked on this journey together with love. We mourned, we, we loved, we healed, and we were surrounded each and every day by the light and the spirit of Chadwick Boseman. And we have joy in knowing that, well, with this historic Black Panther series, it is a part of his legacy that he helped to lead us to. We showed, we showed the world what black unity, leadership, and love looks like beyond